Hello, welcome to Gold Brick Lego Productions um, minifigure count video, which is going to be me running through some of my minifigures. But, um, that being said, I'm going to get into the minifigures that aren't Iron Man. So, I'm going to take down me, and I'm going to put up Captain America. He'll be our start guy. Captain America, I believe, was my besides the flash was my first star most and ever posted was a captain america versus red skull i think <laughs> even i can't keep track but captain america he's already comes in a set so i'm just going to do a quick 160 of him uh -oh. a quick 160 i prefer this captain america to all the other ones because it's comic accurate but this is bucky he is a custom. Although he is all Lego parts, he's still kind of a custom. I don't know what's up with my stand today. Um, his hair is from Robin. I have a duplicate of that hair, yes. A uh, completely generic face. And this is a Lone Ranger Confederate soldier, I think, costume. That was exceedingly comic accurate to Bucky. So I kind of took it and made something amazing out of it. I just bumped my lighting. I don't know if that shows on camera. Whatever. Um, this is Peppa Potts. She has the body of the Scarlet Witch. Just some regular gray pants. Um, she has a hairpiece. That is a rubber hairpiece from, I believe, the Lego Fen set. The face, I believe, belong to Mrs. Suhorn from the Lego movie. And she has an alternate screaming face. Which I'm not going to show you because it's with this, but next we have Movie Edition Thor, which is pretty cool. It's got the same hairpiece. The body, I believe, is a custom. Uh, it was printed by someone who was not Lego, but I believe they changed some details on the torso. The pants used to be gray, but I changed them to blue because they looked better. And then I believe his be beard is an off orange color, which is kind of cool. Matt this very nicely. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I dropped him. Back pin. Here. Very nice. Thank you. Um. Oh. Black Widow. Here. Black Widow. She has two twin blasters. Her Widow Sting's golden hand. This is actually a blue custom Catwoman suit. The suit came as a part of a set where they were all modified customs of a guy. They were all modified Batman customs. And this modify gave her a blue outlining instead of the classical purple. And so I used it on Black Widow and the purple one's on Catwoman. <sighs> Nick Fury. I believe he's just missing an overcoat, but he does come in the set as well. He has a gun with binoculars on the end, making it a longer gun. Which is pretty nice. 160. I don't think he actually has iPad printing on the back of his head. But, let's... Yep, no iPad printing. The strap continues. I like that. Sometimes Lego starts... They start a detail of the body and don't finish it on the back. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves with Lego. But, oh, here we go. War Machine. He is a custom. Yeah, she has flying boots on. Oh! All the flying boots broke the stand. Uh, dust this, whatever. Um, he has a stud suitor. Uh oh, he's too tall. He has a stud suitor on the back of him. Plus this machine gun piece, which is used inside of my entry video, if you're watching from my channel. Um, I gave him two of these studs. I'm going to take them off the stand. He's, he's not too bad. Oop, excuse the bad camera walk. In the back he has a gauge, and that's all the Matrix stuff to make him walk. Here we go. Spider-Man. He comes in a set. I'm not even going to start looking at him. He has a web. Anyone, other, anyone else's minifigure count video will have a Spider-Man. Wolverine. I believe some of his uh, torso printing was modified. 
He has claws. I believe he comes in two sets. He's got the mask in the back. The mask in the back. Um, no, he is an absolute custom. And I love it. He has bleached out brown hair, hair giving it a m weird marbled effect. I don't know if that shows on camera. He is handless because I used his hands to help one of my Batman suits. Now we'll be fixing it. He's a custom. Um,. His legs, torso, and face are all customized. It's a light blue with all these steps on. I guess since since the original Hawkeye is just blue, this is a major improvement, and I'm super happy with him. I believe that ends my Marvel superheroes. I'm going to jump into the villains. Ow! I just burned myself on my own lighting. Here we go. Red Skull. Um. This guy, oop, he wants to sit down. Um, this guy holds a cosmic cube and a pistol. That's actually one of my favorite pistols for the Joker and the Red Skull. He also comes in a set, the same set with Captain America. He's not worth looking at. Next are two of my favorite Iron Man base minifigures. Ow, again with my lighting. This is Crimson Dynamo. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see him. Um, he is a custom Iron Man body with the wiring and the arms and the repulses and then a black Iron Man headpiece without the mask and then a blue clear piece giving it a, a pretty cool effect I super enjoy this minifigure next we have Ultron which comes in the Hulkbuster set which I have he's the same one that comes in a set He's a new minifigure to me. I saw Age of Ultron. It was amazing. But I didn't pay attention to... I believe this is Ultron right before he gets his best form. Like Ultron Prime or something? I don't know. I thought we were big into... Oh, dang it! Moving on. First we have... Um, Imposter Captain America. He is a version of Captain America I didn't always like, but basically he is a darker version of Captain America with a darker shield, and then some silver lining around him. And Pasta Bucky, who has black pants, Bucky's torso, a frowny version of Bucky's face, and then just a goon cap. Um, but no. Doctor Octopus. I just changed the back piece so that he's... I can't turn him around with my background. I changed his back piece so it's easier for stop motion. Scene. And then the same temp tentacles. And same body, same face, same everything. It's just, I already like Doc Ock, but I just added that. I have a custom Hydra gun. Because in a lot of the TV shows, they have red on their costume. So I swapped out their arms and legs. Oh, he, he comes with, I call this my electro gun. And then he's got the red body and everything. It's basically the same except for the red. It's the only logical difference. Moving on. That's the end of my Marvel villains. I'm going to move on to my DC heroes, then my DC villains. Um, we have... We have Superman. Defender of Earth. The body is not Lego. The pants are. Um, the face is also not Lego, and the hair piece is from the Man of Steel sets. The cape is the new fabric, though, which is nice. Goodbye. Um, next we have Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is a custom. Oh! Oh, Wonder Woman, I thought you could fly. Why wouldn't you save yourself? Um, I'm not a huge fan of this custom. I'm really not. She just has the tan arms and the body and everything. But they don't continue the leg printing. And the back printing is mostly red. Apparently in the other version, it was all tan. Like, everything that's red right now is tan. Goodbye. Ooh, next we have a custom flash. This I recently updated. Very recently. This was the one used instead of all of the Lego to Flash stop motions. 
if you see here, he has the Flash's body, but then a custom headpiece that is, but the same body, his head actually has to be custom made to fit the mask, because the mask isn't like that, but, I'm not complaining, uh, he has a custom, ow, green lantern, I keep burning myself on the lighting, um, custom green lantern, his mask is not a custom, his torso is Lego, but I swapped out his arms and his legs. I modified the legs so that there wouldn't be the green lining on him, because no one wants to see the green lining. It was just weird. And then I I think I switched out his arms because they were loose when they first came, but that's not important because they were both black. My next in Aquaman custom. He's supposed to have one golden hand, but I didn't go there. He has his giant, um, trident. His headpiece is the same that comes in the set, but it has different, um, uh, face lining. The pants I changed because it looked better. And then the Aquaman trident, I believe, is all the same. I... Next we have Lex Luthor. His suit, if we take a look at this, has a red tie, several buttons, and then just black pants, and I believe a clone tuber's face, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Um, Joker. This Joker comes in a set. The end. The reverse flies. You see here? It's pretty cool. Um, let's compare him to the actual flash. They're basically the same height. He just has red boots and red hands. Oh, this is Sinestro. He's also a custom. Um, he's basically the same as Green Lantern. Well, he's the same as the Green Lantern is in the same he was in the set, but his pants are just black. Because I cannot stand what they did with that pad printed green and yellow on the legs. It, it looked good in the comics, but the way they did it, it didn't follow with the legs, making it stop suddenly. The next one, the next couple are pretty cool. This is the Fisherman, the Mirror of Aquaman. The next couple have been modified. He has the Fisherman's Tony Stark's face. He was actually a misprint that I got for free. And so the face looks stretched out compared to actually Tony Stark's. Which was a cool add-on, but he has a spear, golden hands, to match his golden fisherman's emblem on his thing there. Black pants, and then the fisherman's helmet. Pretty cool. Uh, we have Vandal Savage. If you know who he is, please say so in the comics. Because to everyone I've shown this, they have had no idea. He's a villain who's immortal, been here since the dawn of time, and has affected reality itself. He has Bucky's body, I just changed his arms to blue, and his pants to blue. He has a custom, uh, blue, not blue, <laughs> yellow faded hair, and then I believe that's a clone trooper, an old clone trooper face from a destroyed clone trooper in a set. Next we have Holy Quinn. If you'd like to know what the stick is, I will show you in a second, but this is Harley Quinn. She comes in a set. This is the change I made. She has a hammer that's four times the size of herself that doesn't even fit on the camera, even when it's just itself. Next, we have a customized Bane who has... I don't know what he had originally, but he now has black pants and black arms. That's the only difference. Um, Catwoman, oh my gosh, and Poison Ivy. We go. They both come in sets. One of them is a very expensive set, but they both come in sets.